welcome back to my channel everyone um today i am uh doing some watercolor doodles because and this is kind of exciting i started a thing over on instagram that i didn't really mean to start but it happened um i decided that i wanted to do 31 watercolor do doodles in august and um for those who don't know i used to do quite a bit of watercolor work and in the last, I'd say, six-ish months, I've kind of moved away from using watercolor, but I actually really enjoy using watercolor, and even though it is a little more of a tedious medium to get my paints out and get cups of water, and you know, you need a couple of things on the desk to do it, um, I feel like it is still one of my more favorite mediums. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's something about it, it's just really relaxing to watch and to do and yeah. So to get myself back into the habit of doing watercolour, I decided to do 31 doodles with watercolour in August and this is not exactly a new concept, obviously Inktober exists. Um, I actually searched for August drawing challenges, hashtags, because I was like, uh, surely someone else has made a challenge of some kind and I couldn't really find any I found one that was like draw a dragon every day in August and I was like okay that's cool but uh, not not quite not quite what I'm after um, so I just decided like okay I'm just gonna do 31 watercolor doodles in August and I put the first one on my Instagram and a lot of the comments were Oh my goodness I'm gonna join in and I was like oh I, I didn't even think that people would want to join in on this I thought that this was just some random idea I'd had that you know was going to flood everyone's Instagram feeds I didn't exactly think this is something that everyone wanted to get involved in so I did a poll on my Instagram story to ask for some hashtag ideas because if you guys are doing this challenge I want to see your work and uh, I, get, I got some really good suggestions and in the end we wound up going with mayhem doodle because I feel like these are little mayhem doodles because whenever I am I don't know whenever I'm watercolor painting it calms me down so quickly and the name magenta mayhem obviously that's not my real name it's fictional i made it up when i was about 16. i think i came up with it because i liked alliteration and i liked uh the kind the way that it sounded kind of like a superhero and also i was trying to be a little more anonymous on the internet um and i didn't want my families to find it at that point uh, and I feel like it's changed its meaning a bit for me over the years, which I'm okay with. And right now it means more like, you know, painting gets my mayhem thinking out, out of me or out of my head. I don't know. Um, magenta mayhem can mean anything to you. But yeah, these are what... The, I feel like the hashtag mayhem doodle is kind of really fitting um, because, you know... It's just a doodle. You don't have to stress about it. Obviously, these little birds that I'm doodling in the video, I'm uh, giving them a little bit more effort because this is for a video. But I, you know, I just thought I'd remind you guys if you want to join in on this challenge, um, you don't have to do super great doodles. If you go over and look at my Instagram, they're not the greatest. They're definitely not my best work. But there are they are a bit of fun. And also, by the way, if you want to join in on this video, on this video, on this challenge, um, you can actually use the hashtag and at the end of the month, I'm actually going to choose all of my favorite uh, submissions of what people who have joined in the challenge, people who have used the hashtag, because that's the only way I'm going to see it, you guys. Um, and I'm going to put my favorites in a video and yes, I will shout you out. So if you want to be included in that, if you want to shout out in one of my videos, you need to join in on the challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun, I can already tell. And also, it's 31 doodles in August. It's not a doodle a day thing. 
I have used the hashtag doodle a day because it kind of fits, but I also think it kind of doesn't because I have already done maybe eight and it is currently August 3rd. I think I'll be uploading this on August 4th, but it's currently August 3rd um, and I've done eight. So I, I really do mean like this is a flexible thing. This is not Inktober. We are not freaking out. Uh, it's a very flexible kind of challenge. So yeah, definitely get involved with that if you are interested. And you can doodle with anything. You don't necessarily have to use watercolour. Um, I am using watercolour and dip pen because they are the two mediums that calm me down the most. Um, so that's why I really enjoy using them, even though they are a bit messy or a bit difficult to use, I guess, some days. Um, I don't know. I think they just require a little bit of practice. Uh, moving on though to something that I need everybody's opinion on. What do you think of the editing in this video? Because I, uh, I have realized that I really like videos that are not just speed paints. I like videos that are more real time. And so this video required a lot more editing. Um, but I'd say it maybe took around about the same amount of time as I usually spend on a speed paint because my computer is just, it doesn't take editing speed paints well for some reason. It doesn't take speeding up footage well. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know. I found this editing process even to be just really enjoyable. So if you like the different angles and um, things like that, let me know because I, yeah, I found it really enjoyable, and if you guys like it too, if it makes me look more professional, if we can trick people into thinking that I'm an actual art YouTuber, I think we'd be on the right track. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, because I'm really open to feedback on my videos. Uh, I love making videos, but I will be the first to admit that I am not exactly the most skilled <laughs> at creating content on YouTube. Um, I actually received a comment on the first video back, so the August bullet journal setup, uh, and so many of you guys were so nice. Thank you so much for being so open and welcoming to let me back into the, the YouTube art world. I don't know. Um, but I did receive a comment and someone just said, you know, could be better. And I didn't really know what they meant. They didn't really uh, elaborate. And I did comment back being like, oh cool, how? And they were just like silent and I was like, damn. Um, but I figured this could be kind of what they meant. Uh, a little bit less crappy lighting, a little bit more nice angles and close-ups and actually having the camera in focus, you know? Or having the, the subject in focus. And then you've got my crappy voiceover over the whole thing. So, I don't know. I don't know if this is a win or lose. I don't know if this is a win or lose situation. I'm doing this whole uh, voiceover thing in one take because honestly, I don't have uh, all the time in the world to do the voiceover today. So, plus the video is just about over. So what's the point in continuing to? I don't know. Refilm, refilm, re record. I'm honestly just babbling now. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I hope that you will enjoy uh, seeing my doodles on Instagram. You can go and follow me over there. There's a link in the description. Look at me, I sound so fancy like a proper YouTuber. Um, if you want to join in the challenge and if you want to be featured in the video at the end of the month, you need to use the hashtag. And I will see you guys in the next video.